Here's another web work problem that some of you have asked about. An aerial photograph is taken. They can see the shadows of a number of different things on the ground. One of those shadows is the shadow of a building. They know at the particular instant that this photograph was taken that the angle of elevation of the sun was 33 degrees. They, because they know heights of some other things, they can tell that the, the length of this shadow is 94 feet long. Let's look at a picture of this situation. Now, this is important. When you're doing these kinds of problems, you need to be able to see the picture in your mind and be able to graph it. Here, here's the, the setting. The sun's up here. We know that it's got a, an angle of 33 degrees sitting there. Okay, so there's going to be a right triangle here. <clears throat> the ground we're assuming is perpendicular to the building. So there we are with the right angle right here. Let me turn that off and get a right angle drawn in here. So we've got this right angle right here. We know that this is 33 degrees and we know that the shadow is 94 feet. So there we've got a right triangle situation. So let's represent the height of the building by H. Then H is the opposite side. The length of the shadow is the adjacent side. So opposite over adjacent, that's a tangent. The tangent of 33 degrees is equal to H divided by 94. We're going to solve for that. Multiplying both sides by 94, we discover that the height is going to be 94 times a tangent of 33 degrees. So we can, can calculate that height by, by putting into this equation the uh, 94 times the tangent of 33 degrees. So that we can follow along with what's happening. Let's look at that picture again. Remember we saw the right triangle. We saw that the tangent of 33 degrees was equal to h divided by 94. We multiplied both sides by 94 and got 94 times the tangent of 33 degrees is equal to h. So we're going to put that particular information in here. We're going to say that 94 times the tangent of 33, uh oh, here's a problem. Web work always thinks in radians instead of degrees. So I can change that degrees to radians by just saying. 33 times pi divided by 180. Okay, there's the result that we're looking for. 94 times the tangent of 33 degrees, or 33 times pi divided by 180 uh, radians. That's going to be the height of h. And of course we can check that answer. Now one of the things that they said was to round this answer to two decimal places. Let me just preview that answer. You see, web work will do that calculation for me. So I really want 61.04 because I want it rounded, rounded off to, to two decimal places. If I need to, I'll come back and put that in. But for right now, I'm just going to check my answer, and it's happy with that answer, even though I've got more decimal places than they said to use. Okay, that's the idea. It all comes from the picture. You, you have to be able to visualize the picture, be able to see a right triangle, and then in this case, we had some tangent information, so we could say the tangent of 33 degrees is equal to h divided by 94. Just solve for the h. That was just an easy algebra problem. And then there was the one other issue, is that in web work, web work always calculates things with radians. So instead of putting the 33 degrees there, I needed to tell web work how to change that to, uh, to radians instead of degrees. Okay, good luck with everybody.